Hi and welcome in this photography beginner tutorial. Today we talk about the shutter speed, how it works, what it does and how you can use it for your photography. My name is Benjamin Jaworski, photographer and adventurer. Ten years ago I started to teach myself photography. Today I travel the world as a professional photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, mistakes and tips and join me on my photography adventures. I have a pretty nice setup now as you can see because I thought about how can I show you how the shutter works and how the shutter speed works and what it actually does and I have here my nice, in German it's called Tiger Enter, in English it's like Tiger Duck obviously and I will show you how to capture a fast movement like from this Tiger Enter and yeah, how to get it sharp in an image or how to get it blurry in an image, however you want to take it. And that is a nice thing about photography. You can choose, and that is the, the mighty position of a photographer, um, what the image should look like. And it's not automatic, it's all manual. So the first thing that we do, I have my Sony A6000 here. We go in the manual mode and then you can see the shutter speed, so the thing with the slash, that is the shutter speed. And the shutter is some, uh, something which is in front of your sensor. You have the aperture, uh, what I already talked about, it is in your lens and it blocks the light, as we remember, more light or less light gets in the camera and the shutter actually um, also blocks the light but for an amount of time. So this is like a guard which says Go inside, go inside the club, go inside the club and this is the door which says okay it's open for one second and then nobody gets in. So, and the effect of the shutter speed is that you can freeze an action or that you can make a movement visible or even get things out of your picture which are moving. I put my camera now on a tripod and I will switch positions to the front and what I want to capture now is the Tiger Enter, I have that nice strap here, and then I do it like and then it moves, like a fast moving thing, like a car, like a bird, like a child running or whatever, your grandpa running, and you want to capture it in a sharp action. So it's not blurry, it should be sharp. So what do you need to do? You need a fast shutter speed. Let's say like because it moves and you want the, the millisecond of the movement to be sharp, like that takes like let's say one second and you want just the millisecond when it's here to be sharp so you need a fast shutter speed of let's say one four hundredth of a second let's just say you can use a thousand two thousand whatever I say now one uh, four hundredth of a second so that's what I now set in the camera so I'm in manual mode I now go with the shutter and you can use the dial here four hundredth of a second I have the ISO on auto now and I open my aperture and I go to 5.6 now with the aperture. It's just random settings, it can be totally different in, in your situation because I have lights here and this very dark from outside when you have sunlight it's much brighter. You need different settings but the important thing is now a 400th of a second. So I focus now manually just on it when it's like here, okay. So what I do now is, and I freeze the action, okay, are you ready? One, let's check the sharpness, one, two, three, and it's sharp in the picture, even though it moves almost in 200 kilometers per hour. <laughs> okay. So the image is sharp right now because I have a fast shutter speed. So whenever you want to freeze an action, you need a fast shutter speed. So what do you need when you want to have like a certain movement in an image? And that's what I show you now. I go in the shutter speed now, use the dial wheel to let's say one fifth of a second. So let's say that is one second. And now I capture like the part from not only this part, freezing action, but like a part from here to here. And what happens when we just imagine that is like I get a blurry thing moving from here 
to there because the shutter is open for not only a short amount but a longer amount of time like and when you do like it's moving through so let's do it I have my Tiger Ante here and I move at the same speed and as you can see right now, I have a movement visible. That is funny when you do it like in big cities, when you want to show movement of persons or of cars or something. Or you can even use it for longer exposures. Just put it then on, let's say, 2 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. But now comes an important rule, because it would be too easy when you just say, okay, I do it like this and like that. You do movements by yourself, with your hand when you have the camera in your hand. So an image might be blurry if you photograph it from your hand. Right now I have a tripod. With a tripod it's always easy because the tripod never shakes when it's a solid tripod. So here now I can shoot with one fifth of a second, with 30 seconds, no problem at all. When I shoot now for example for 30 seconds it wouldn't be visible. Should I show you? I'll show you. Okay, the longest thing I can go is actually three seconds, so it's not that long, but this is faster than three seconds, so it shouldn't be visible at all. Let's give it a try. Three seconds, I'm on a very closed aperture, now 22, because I need a proper exposure. So let's try it. I do it like this. It's not visible at all, because in the three seconds it just moved through the picture. I give you right now a rule when you photograph without a tripod and the rule is you need a shutter speed as fast as your focal length is long. On this lens right now I'm on 16 millimeter, so very wide angled. So which shutter speed do I need when I want a not shaky image from my hand? You just need your focal length and then put a one with a slash in front. So one sixteenth of a second. It doesn't exist in the camera, so 1 20th, the next higher value. Let's give a different example. When I have a 50 millimeter lens, which shutter speed do I need to not shake with my hands? 1 slash 50. Very easy, 1 50th of a second. When I have a 200 millimeter, so very long lens, a 200 millimeter lens on my camera, which shutter speed do I need to not get a blurry image because I shake with my hands? 1 slash 200. So 1 200th of a second to not shake with my own image. So that is the whole secret about shutter speed. You can even uh, remember another rule or think about another rule. I usually say I double the shutter speed. So the 1 slash and the focal length is like the you definitely need to have but I would definitely go faster, so double it. So let's say 200 millimeter lens, one slash, not 200, but 400. So double it. And then you are totally on the safe side and you don't shake in your image. So very easy to understand. Um, shutter speed is a nice thing to freeze action, to get long exposures, for example, as well, of let's say waterfalls, what I do very often when I photograph landscapes or stuff, or even underwater. I need a faster shutter speed because the turtle here in the background moves. So when I have like one sixth of a second, remember the Tiger Ante, it might be blurry just because of my shutter speed and because of my shakement. So in this case, I think I had two hundredth of a second or something. It was without a flash, it was in shallow water. So same procedure like with the aperture, what I would always recommend is think about before you photograph what you want to achieve with the image, what you want to show in your image. Do you want a blurry image? Do you want the movement visible? Or do you want a sharp, crisp, freezing action in the image? And then you choose. You shut the speed first when there's something about action. You shut the speed first and then you choose the different things like aperture and ISO to set the exposure. I hope you enjoyed this video, you learned something about Tiger Ante and stuff and if you liked it write a comment and if you need other tutorials about photography just give me a topic, write it in the comments and I will see if I can make a video out of it. Show the video to somebody who starts with photography and I'm looking forward to see you next time. So never forget, sag mal Einstellung Digga und how did I? Oh, and when you want to learn Adobe Lightroom the easy and fun way and start edit your photos, check out my full video course at learnfromben.com.